Welcome to Mujer Latina today. You are a Democrat for Toledo, working hard to for anti-human trafficking. You have a good event, a big event today. You were anti-human initiative. And this is kind of continuation of your efforts of the human trafficking that we know about the, the House Bill 262. Tell us about the press conference this morning. Well, um, we've been working hard since we passed um, House Bill 262, which was a victim-centered approach, and we also increased penalties for traffickers. You know, we really set up, you know, I think what is the beginning foundation to help all victims of trafficking, whether it's sexual trafficking, commercial trafficking, or labor trafficking. Um, law enforcement's been working hard in getting the training and knowing what the new tools are. They've been coordinating, collaborating like they never have from city to city. Um, and we continue to work on the legal and legislative subcommittee, which I chair for the next um, piece of legislation that I think is just as important as House Bill 262. And I'm calling it the End Demand Act. Because as you know, um, reducing demand for purchasing sex is an important component of ending human trafficking. Um, you know, reducing the demand focuses on the purchaser or the John rather on the rather than on the victim or the trafficker. So we we've did some things that we needed to correct with House Bill 262, like eliminating the requirement for victims to prove force, fraud, or coercion. Um, we've also did the termination of parental rights if they're convicted of trafficking their children, a sibling in their home or a minor in their home. Um, we've increased the statute of limitations um, for human trafficking to 20 years, like we do for rape. So, you know, we're really combing through coordinating our Ohio Revised Code with crimes in the new crime of trafficking. Um, we've also, as part of ending the demand, increased the solicitation a penalty for anyone soliciting a minor. We've turned it from a misdemeanor penalty to a fel felony penalty, and they have to register as a sex offender. Now, I've been talking to the FBI and other law enforcement um, officials, and they think that's a great deterrent um, for our, you know, combating and ending trafficking, uh, commercial sex trafficking. We've also um, worked on adding electronic means uh, for promoting prostitution. You know, a lot of this crime happens on the internet. So we're adding the electronic means for trafficking and penalties. Um, we're allowing closed circuit testimony uh, for preliminary hearings for minors and adults because they're so traumatized and we need that uh, type of, um, you know, testimony and hearing and where the victim doesn't have to face their trafficker. So we feel that that's very, very important. Um, we also are working on third party advertisers, advertisers online, such as Backpage. If someone is advertising someone and it looks like a minor, the law officials can find out who that third party advertiser is. And that is also a felony charge with the sex offender registration. And that's also a very important tool law enforcement feels that's necessary because a lot of times, you know, it really expands to any kind of um, advertisement, just ha not having someone um, viewed on online with a picture. So it, I think it covers everything that they need. The other part that we're adding is not using the word massage in any advertising unless they are certified through the board of medical um, college, the medical board or state chiropractic um, association or local subdivision. So we have a lot of different components. I think there's a total of maybe 16. Um, but this will be part two of Ohio's effort to combat human trafficking. And then it also has emergency clause so that law enforcement can get trained and we can continue um, our efforts of rescuing victims. And we have, we have um, several cases in the works um, and we are rescuing many, many people. So, you know, we're very enthusiastic about helping support those kinds of things that are they're working right now. Representative, we know that you're working very hard. 
We went in January to the Awareness tra Human Trafficking Day, and we learned a lot. But we learned that we are connecting. Work, working together is the only way that we can end this uh, human trafficking. And thank you and appreciate it today that you, as a community, that you want to reach out to the Hispanic Latino. We will not be able to be there, but you are taking your time to inform us of the new initiative, your new initiative, and I really appreciate it. Any additional information that you would like to share with the Hispanic Latino community that they're just watching your interview? Again, just making sure if, if anyone is a victim that they should come forward, that we do have the network and the support in place to help any victim of uh, commercial sex trafficking or labor trafficking, and, and we're ready and uh, positioned to um, rescue victims. Thank you so much. Thank you.